Hey everyone, Joseph here, and today is day three of the MCAT. I'm gonna video myself every day and watch my descent into misery and pain. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, just as a reminder, if you want, check out my website. It began with potatoes. Uh, I haven't written on it for a couple days, but that's okay. You can read about a bunch of cool stuff like glycol alkaloids, different poisons, the heroin epidemic. I mean, it goes on. I've been writing on it for a while. Um, so anyways, today I want to talk about being a small YouTuber. And by small, I mean exceptionally small because there is actually like, what, four views on most of my videos? So the point that I'm trying to bring across here is that you know, I'm doing this for the spirit of adventure. There's not really much of a reason or impetus to do this. Like, I just wanted to practice my own um, ability to speak, maybe not on the fly, but um, just practice speaking in general as well as um, put myself out there just so that other people can be like, oh, okay, cool. That's something that he's doing. That's something that I think I might find interesting. And I was uh, really inspired by pre videos. Um... Maybe not his video topics, but he, because he talks a lot about med school and that's going to be a little bit while off. But I was just inspired that there was someone else already at the SLC, which is where I work in Berkeley, um, which is a student learning center. So you should drop by if you're a Berkeley student. Um, yeah, but there was already like legacy. There's already someone that paved the path for uh, setting up a YouTube channel. So um, just in response to not having very many views, you know, I don't really mind. Like, I'm just practicing. It's kind of, just kind of cool to make videos. It's not some, it's something out of my comfort zone. So, yeah. So, anyways, today was actually kind of a stressful day. So, I was doing some um, practice questions after I got demoralized by exam crackers. Yeah, I didn't know that that was going to hit me so hard. I wanted, so today in the morning I woke up and then I was like, okay, so today I'm going to review my, um, my full length. So, then I woke up in the morning finish reviewing the full length by two o'clock also i read this really good paper but i finished the full length by two o'clock and i was like okay maybe i can take a full length i know like people are like oh you should take the full length um to emulate the testing conditions which i wish i could have done but i started at two o'clock so it was like okay but i got really demoralized so here's my score so ex what exam crackers does is that they just like give you percentage and that's what i got i got 69 percent and since, so I was doing all the Princeton exams, I was getting like maybe 12 wrong out of 60, which is closer to an 80%. So it was really, really demoralizing to see such a low score. I, was, I had like a really hard time doing the questions for whatever reason. I don't know if exam two was difficult, but yeah, I, I mean, I, um, I recommend that if you want to get exams, then maybe you can talk to a friend about splitting the cost. Sometimes that might help alleviate or offset um, the financial burden that is because each test is like fifty dollars for exam crackers at least yeah and anyways for the last thing i just wanted to show you what i was reading about um, so the point carré conjecture i i really don't know what this is being an article on it by the new yorker point carré and it was just a really interesting it was just a really interesting read like it was talking about um different Nobel laureates, Chinese mathematician, um, this guy named Perelman, all like trying to solve this like age old, hundred year old problem. And essentially how this man, Perelman is just like, agno not agnostic, but he goes off on his own and he decides that, oh, I'm gonna just try to tackle this problem myself. And then even with the most brilliant minds in math looking for the answer, um, Essentially, he, he just contributed a huge part into proving this conjecture that apparently saw something with geometry and manifolds, which are like different shapes and how you can put holes through them. I'm not sure. I'm not a mathematician myself. But anyways, I thought it was a really cool read. Um, if you're studying for cars and you're not an avid reader or haven't been reading for a while because um, you just dropped it, you know, like you used to read more prolifically before then I recommend reading articles like this. I thought it was really fun. It was actually quite a long read, and New Yorker actually limits your articles um, per month. But if you go on incognito, then they can't track your um, IP address or your cookies, so um, you can just read as many stories as you want. But yeah, I really enjoyed this article. So that was um, day three for me, and I just wanna say, getting stressed out, but I'll see you all later. Bye.